Bun with the heat yeah, hall. Breakfast club, bitches. Bun B's don't care today. today. Salute to Bun B, man. Uh, donkey of the day for Wednesday, April 27th goes to 68 year old Sheila Downey of Memphis, Tennessee. Salute to everybody who listens to us on K97 in Memphis. Drop on the clues bombs for K97 in Memphis, Tennessee. We appreciate you. Now, how do you like your coffee? Common question a lot of people get asked. I've never been a coffee drinker. My wife is. Not my thing. I prefer a, a good ginger tea with some honey uh, as a pick-me-up in the morning. Or am I a Carviva sports drinker? Uh, one of the two. I'm actually sitting here deciding which one I want right now. Uh, but I respect all coffee drinkers. Okay, a lot of y'all heard me ask, how do you like your coffee? And you answered, I like it black. Straight black, no cream or sugar. Some of y'all want cream and sugar. Some of y'all like a dark roast. Some of y'all like it half calf, watered down because it makes you too jittery. A little okay. oat milk. A little oat milk, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of y'all like a little lighter blonde roast. Some of y'all don't like the taste at all because it's too bitter. Some folks like putting a little salt in their coffee. Have you heard of that, G? Nope. Put a little salt in their coffee because it blocks the bitterness, all right? There's a lot of ways to drink coffee. Uh, personally, I don't dig it because I don't like the taste and... Someone not liking the taste of coffee is why Sheila Downey is in jail today. See, she had an 81-year-old husband, and her husband got into an argument with her over the taste of his coffee. Now, Angela Yee, you have a coffee business, right? Yes, coffee uplifts people. Coffee uplifts people. This is a story of coffee upsetting people, okay? If someone doesn't like the taste of their coffee, Yee, how do you handle it? Um, try to get them a new one. That's simple, right? Yeah. I would think if someone didn't like the taste of that coffee, you would simply fix them another cup. When you're married, you would probably tell said person, fix your own damn coffee then. Okay, if you don't like the way I made it. Well, Sheila didn't either. Let's go to Fox 13 for the report, please. Well, it started over the taste of coffee, but now one man is dead and his wife has been charged with his murder. <gasps> Memphis police say Sheila Downey stabbed her husband to death yesterday at a home on Renwood Street. Now, before the victim died, police say he told them that the two got in an argument over the taste of his coffee. He says Downey got angry and tried to drink bleach. <gasps> That's when he tried to stop her. She grabbed the knife and then stabbed him multiple times. Police say that Downey originally drove away from the scene, but it was arrested when she returned. The best part of waking up my ass, okay? Imagine getting killed because you... Waking you're... up your ass. I did not Whoa. say that. Okay, she said the best part of waking, of waking up my up ass. My ass. Y'all know what I meant. You Ooh. know they say the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Wow. I said the best part of waking up my ass. Y'all know what I meant. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Wake up the ass. All right. <laughs> you open the door. Wake up. The door's always open. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, okay, imagine getting killed. Because you didn't like okay. the taste of your coffee. Okay? <laughs> and what if that coffee you was drinking was Death Wish? Do y'all carry that brand yee? No. Death Wish Coffee Company. All right, Death Wish Coffee Company better hope and pray this man wasn't drinking that brand because Lord have mercy, that would be a terrible promotion. Listen, one thing for sure, two things for certain. I would never let anyone who drinks bleach fix my coffee. Because if she can stand the taste of bleach, then clearly her taste buds are questionable. But the reality is, she was probably drinking the bleach because she wanted to kill herself. And when that didn't work, she got pushed to kill her husband. Look, man, let's be clear about something. Because we do this all the time in regards to humans. This woman, Sheila, didn't kill her husband over no damn coffee. Okay, when you get to the point where you kill someone over a cup of coffee, you reached your tipping point in life and with that person a long time ago. And Folgers had absolutely nothing to do with it, all right? This woman was clearly in pain. This woman was clearly hurting over something. This is why I tell y'all, constantly invest in your mental wealth, all right? Deal with your emotional health. Fix what's in your head, okay, and in your heart, all right? Your body is your temple. Your body is your house. And if you don't deal with what's in your mental wheelhouse, you can possibly possibly end up killing someone because of Maxwell House, all right? What's interesting about this is Sheila probably could have used a cup of coffee or a damn self. All right, a lot of folks' anxiety goes through the roof if they don't get their coffee in the morning, all right? My wife doesn't like to do anything, and she will have an attitude until she gets a cup of coffee. And there has been some research that shows coffee and caffeine may decrease anxiety symptoms. So Sheila probably need a, needed a cup of Seattle's best to take the edge off, all right? No matter how strong a person is, they always have a breaking point, and Sheila clearly reached her breaking point, and she will have to get the healing she needs in a state-sponsored facility for the rest of her life. And I would like to note that this situation completely makes the quote, a bad day with coffee is better than a good day without it, null and void. 
a bad day with coffee is better than a good day without it. That quote is null and void, and that is complete BS. Sheila's husband had a bad day. He got stabbed multiple times and later died Oof. with his coffee. I'm just here to make observations, people. Okay, everybody in line at Starbucks, Dunkin' and Yee Spot, Coffee of Flips, people, carry on. Please let Remy Ma give Sheila Downey the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb. We still want to know what the best part of waking your ass up is. That's not what I said. How do you wake your ass up? I said the best part of waking up my ass. All right? I don't even know why that sounds like that, but y'all know what I mean. You know when somebody says, like, such and such my ass? No, I don't know why. No, nobody such and such is my ass. I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all not going to gaslight me. Y'all not going to gaslight me this morning. It's not going to happen. We're not. We're not going to happen. What you going to ask me? You're not going to do it. I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you gaslight me this morning. Nope. I got therapy today. Won't do it. That should be a good hashtag. All right, everybody, hashtag the best part of waking up my ass. The best part of waking up my ass. It's Charlamagne's favorite thing. I ain't about waking up in no ass. That's not what I said. We didn't even say that. That's what Envy just said. Envy, you just said that under your breath. I heard you and everybody heard you. Rewind the tape. You just said that. Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.